Hello, this is Wojciech Pietrzak again. Welcome to my ITSL game against John Riston from USA. I play USSR. I remember this name from the old Yetzel seasons. So not a bad hand and I guess a straightforward opening <coughs> according to what one subscriber commented I decided to make the music quieter I hope this helps enjoying the games 60 minutes per game, so Vietnam Revolts looks an obvious headline. Containment AR6. No rotten marshal, probably space and hold card. So not too much to perform coups to play decal. Actually, Europe scoring may be a better headline. Europe can't get better anyway. <coughs> and no big deal if defected. <coughs> Cambridge 5 makes no sense if he has Middle East scoring. He looks likely to dump it anyway. So... Asia scoring would be the only meaningful. Problem is, I'm not. My hand is not flexible. My cards are either two ops, or unplayable, or playable late in turn, or playable with serious drawbacks. <coughs> so let it go. <coughs> I'm sorry, I can't clear my throat today. <coughs> yep. So now, what's the first thing to do? Well, lower that con to be able to play deco. Not bad. Actually great result giving him no counterplay. sort of showing that my hand isn't that good plus if he doesn't have counterplay he may eventually not lower defcon at all <coughs> mm -hmm. I guess into France <coughs> okay too bad it's gone already But at least handling Europe scoring is not a big deal for a moment. So let's cash these two points soon. <coughs> he is gonna dominate Europe. So perhaps I can just give him this martial plan <coughs> and let it go like, okay, you have your Europe, but it's just been scored. 
It may never return until turn 7, it may be discarded. <coughs> and the real battleground for now is Asia. Well, two in Afghanistan and two in South Korea give a nice domination and a nice temporary. <coughs> Nice play. And a nice temporary uh, crisis in Korea, I was meaning to say. So... Vietnam revolts time, I, th I think. Gives me what I wanted to have, but without triggering Marshall. And now into Southeast Asia, even with Marshall, <coughs> if necessary. Of course, the most important thing was gaining access, so Decal could be as good, but with decal I'd like to wait until Defcon drops to two. <coughs> and I certainly don't want to give him Thailand. So decal would be pointless. Arab Israeli war would be pointless as well. Yes, I could risk it f earlier to deny him access here, but with 50% chance, I think it's better to play what's certain. <coughs> I got a good target in Egypt. And perhaps it's better to use it, if he allows, and then to cash. Southeast Asia bonus to its maximum. <coughs> what if he coos now? Hmm. If he coos now, I should take Lebanon anyway. So I probably give him containment and play into Lebanon and maybe two to South Korea and play decal on my last action round. <coughs> no Malaysia because I don't want him to take Indonesia be before I take it with decal. And now he may not expect it. Hmm. He did not coup. In this case I will cool. And I will fail. <coughs> okay then, so decal is the obvious last action round. And the, the obvious targets are Angola, Zaire, Indonesia, Burma and Nigeria. Now what should be resigned? Angola and Zaire should go in pair because otherwise his headlining CIA costs me both. Nigeria is just unaccessible otherwise and Burma is 
the jump to India and Pakistan. Indonesia is just isolated. And an Asian country plus a Southeast Asia one VP. <coughs> I think Burma is least important because it's easily accessible otherwise. thinking quite a long <coughs> okay quite a tough hand Algeria is also accessible otherwise, and yes, it's, uh, it's accessible by both of us. <laughs> but well, you can't have it all. Algeria is least important. Egypt and Libya don't look very good, but I should have Nasser, I should have a coup, and Middle East had been scored, plus at the very worst, I can quite easily get presence in the Middle East, <coughs> reduce the score for USA, and gain points elsewhere. <coughs> well, that was brave. Still dominate Asia, and I have the scoring. And does he have the weight? Make it doomed? I don't know. Okay, captured Nazi scientist is always a nice headline in situations like this. If he triggers US Japan, quite wasteful. Can I fight for Asia's? Asian domination then probably I can but should I okay what else CIA can't equalize him anything US Japan would be wasteful enough to think that it was just worth yeah, let's go for it. I think it's worth risking. Let's go. Okay, a generic problem generator. <coughs> so, duck and cover to space race. Captured Nazi scientist for the event. Okay. So first thing is for so can he Okay even if he shortens my hand with five year plan it's not a big deal. Plus now it comes with a downside risk to him. So let's attempt to cut his access here. <coughs> attempt successful. Is the European unrest first? Truman next? Hmm. Maybe it's not worth <coughs> caring about this order. I could if I had had this tau, but I don't and it looks pointless. <coughs> Ideally, I could hold the defectors and the China card. to rush with space race whether he spaces or not successfully or not he can't mess up with my plans about this
if I space that and cover, it's effectively not touched by Red Scar Purge. Okay, Lebanon taken. So no need to rush there. <coughs> Roman Doctrine effectively not touched, captured Nazi scientist not touched, so three free cards. Okay, I guess it's Truman time, but where? I guess Iran, because I need access to Asia, to Asian empty, non -battle, uh, empty battlegrounds. I need to get rid of Truman and I need to repair the situation in the Middle East. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad to play Marshall Plan now. To secure Iraq and Iran, although I'd rather wait for socialist governments to show up before I do it. <coughs> if he spaces it, okay, he uses his space race. If he plays it, I may trigger it so that he has to spend it all to repair the damage it does. I wonder if he held Korean War in the first turn that he played into South Korea, otherwise it's very brave. On the other hand, I will only have one chance. With 50% chance, maybe fewer. Not any longer. 33%. And the only good thing about this is that US Japan is no longer meaningful. Okay, no need to rush, so let's conduct our plan. An attempt was first, Nazi scientist is second, because on the previous step I was winning on rolling 1-4. One, 1-2-3-4 four. One, four, and now I'm winning on 1-2-3. And despite theory claimed that on his blog that advancing in space race can be a drawback for USSR. Yeah, it can, but I think that the advantages are stronger than the disadvantages. Of course, it increases the downside risk of DEFCON suicide grain cells. Ouch. At least this was good that he got rid of the stall on turn two. Another good thing is that the South Korean point looks wasted. Okay, let's cash in these two points and just wait for him to do something. I'm perched, so I'm more or less paralyzed, but he doesn't seem to have an idea about how to make use of this fact. He's not playing aggressively, for example, he's not breaking Thailand. has a poor hand to Israel. It's risky, my friend. Nasser 
attack and cover coup in Lebanon and Arab Israeli war suddenly has 50% of chance success. Okay, but let's stop risking for a while and secure Thailand a little and start looking at this Middle East. So Thailand and Iran. <coughs> My targets, I guess he's gonna leave me in Bulgaria and remove from Poland is Germany and Czechoslovakia. Just to make sure, because he's playing quite slowly. I didn't agree to any change of the default. But let's make it clear now. Yes, good to know. This means six minutes per turn. He's thinking slightly longer, but only slightly. And it may be justified to play the early war carefully because the mistakes made there mm, can be hard to repair. Okay, for now it looks like the map could be better for USSR in early war regions, but are very good in mid war regions. And the VP truck is very good as for this stage of the game with US plus two with US who had headline Middle East scoring. I don't think his all of his Asia play was justified. Over control in South Korea before Korean war is triggered certainly. Over combinated his single ones really have gained him some access. Maybe this prepares independent threats. <coughs> well, this can be helped. Europe is lost for me. I am already quite okay about it. I accepted it as a fact. So socialist governments won't do him any harm. Quite the opposite to what socialist governments do in real life. But that's only a game. Well, they can still steal his domination for just this while when it's important. So just in case, because he is likely to dominate Middle East, let's pretend he's not gonna dominate Asia. Five into Italy is an exaggeration, in my opinion. My best bets are now Suez influence. Okay. Suez crisis. Socialist governments. Nasser, why not? And you went with Norad. To cool Libya, and I can always decide whether to score Middle East or to discard it to five-year plan. Mm -hmm. 
so CIA no longer a problem. <coughs> and he may actually have some problem protecting Middle East. Because I don't need to coup on my very first play. <coughs> it's tempting to play Arab Israeli war for an event, although it will only have one third chance of success, one sixth chance of success. Okay, I can take Lebanon, but he replies with taking. Jordan, that's for, that's for sure. I have two wars, all of them promising, so I probably am going to play one or both of them. <laughs> but let's first attempt to cash Middle Eastern domination. <laughs> if he protects Middle East with Jordan, it's quite obvious for me to play Arab-Israeli war into Saudi Arabia and bet on Korean war. And I think betting on Korean War should come first then, because he may always take Taiwan, reducing my chances of succeeding. <coughs> Plus he may have Asia scoring in hand. If I have time to space the factors, is it worth? That's a good question. Hmm. Okay, let's give it a try first. I have my ups. Decision about giving a try to wear up Israeli war is now quite tougher. But first of all, by protecting Jordan, he may take this decision off me. Secondly, yeah, yeah, I know. Nigeria, I guess. <laughs> Nicely done by him, but... Oh, a surprise. <laughs> okay, Yuri, I'm just greeting you from here on. See that I am not betting on rolling particularly a 6. Not against Italy, but against Israel. Also starts with E. And I'm not playing Arab-Israeli war for an event, but for ops. And I think you should appreciate it in the comment. Yuri, is Yuri Golomako from Belarus is often claiming that I am disastrous to my opponents due to my rolling sixes against Italy just when I need it. And yes, it's true that I rolled some crucial sixes against Italy when five or less wouldn't make any sense. But well, in one of the games I played poorly and just was lucky. But in the other one I just had to try it because I was in a must. And yes, in one in six each six games will have the one in which such a thing succeeds this was the one 
If I score Middle East, I may be able to hold China card without losing any action rounds. And this is also worth something. Particularly with the China card in my hand, the risk of throwing grain cells is slightly smaller. The VPs are decent, so I think I will space defectors to avoid giving him extra VP. <coughs> and in my last action round, five year plan. But were Ivory Coast, maybe. Oh no, no, certainly Turkey and Greece weren't good ideas. Mexico was far better. <coughs> I rolled a 4, so it was a good idea to avoid rolling on Arab-Israeli war. None of the wars were to be won by me. Okay. Yep. Gives him some extra meal ups. Not necessary. One. Yeah, why not dominate it on the spot? Yeah, I know he can have in the Pakistani war. <laughs> but. Come on, I can't be afraid of him having it and winning it with one third enough to resign from dominating a crucial region. Okay, if he wins the war, he's dominating the region. <laughs> he had this, but he failed the role. <laughs> okay, defectors are gone. Central America is scoring very good. IB ABM must be played to prevent some nasty Muslim. Oh no, I'm seeing his headline. That's great. Plus Central America gives me four. <laughs> Middle East gives me another sorry, OPEC gives me another four. <coughs> So if I can make Central America <coughs> scoring, let's say, a 6, <coughs> South America scoring, okay. So, 1, 2, and 3. Just to distract him here. And now Central America gives me a six, which means OPEC gives me a, wi a victory even if he scores Africa now. So either he has Europe and scores it now, or it's a good game. Simply. Very risky and uh, backfired very brutally on my opponent. But the game isn't over yet. This is the thing you always have to remember. 
for example. He may play green sails on me, drop bear trap, play bear trap on me and keep me in the trap for a very long time. I could have broken. Uh, sorry, if I could take Central America and South America and broken a European battleground, I obviously should have done this particularly instead of breaking Libya. But that was not the case. So thank you for watching and see you next time. I feel I was lucky this time, but I also feel I played much better than my opponent, especially because I didn't waste my ups. Bye!